fighting terrorism, setting up a five-year vision of the Eastern Africa standby force, and strengthening the capabilities of the force was among the key discussions that were held in Kigali. Ministers of Defense from the representing countries signed the recommendations from the meeting during the last day of this meeting. Bridge Gen Faisake Tachu, the ESF director, says the renewing commitment to financially support the body was key in the held discussions. Now we are at standby force. Uh, any decisions that come or if mandate given by AU or our policy organ, we are in a ready to deploy for any peace support operation. Uh, they are also agree uh, and renewed their uh, commitment to support uh, to strengthen the ESF uh, financial status. This is a big decision and uh, they put it in a, as a key and the top uh, agenda on the discussion and they agreed on that. Rwanda's Minister of Defense, Major General Albert Murasira, highlighted that the region is still faced with terrorism, cross-border crimes, human trafficking, among other challenges. Eastern Africa is also facing numerous threats threat to development such as resource-based conflicts, disease, and the devastating and negative impact of climate change to name but a few, to emerging conflict situations and scenarios. This includes enhancing the early warning systems which may help prevent conflict. During the just conclusion meeting, the Council of Ministers decided to include a force of Sudan, significantly boosting the regional forces numbers. Rwanda's Brig General Vincent Gatama was named the new EASF force commander. The EASF, a regional organization whose mandate is to enhance peace and security in the Eastern Africa region, comprises 10 active member states, Burundi, Comoros, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya, Rwanda, Seychelles, Somalia, Sudan and Uganda. Jane Mutoni reporting for RTV.